Erica Mena has received a ton of backlash in recent weeks. But what most people don't realize is that the reality star has a history of making inappropriate comments and displaying ratchet behavior on our TV screens. Today, we'll be diving deep into some of her most controversial moments and explain the real reason why people are sick and tired of her ass. <laughs> Before Erica busts us upside the head for being in her business, don't forget to scoop up something to munch on at rrgsnacks.com, our online concession stand that has an assortment of beef and bacon jerky, green apple licorice, and toasted corn nuts. That sound good as hell. In January 2013, Erica was in a relationship with her love and hip-hop New York cast member, Rich Dollars. On the night of that season's premiere, multiple women claimed they were getting their backs blown out by Rich. One woman even said she was in a serious relationship with him, but she broke up with him once she heard rumors about him being engaged to Erica. And then when a woman named Chandrea Nicole, also known as Miracle, claimed Rich was the father of her 13-year-old daughter, Erica took to her Twitter to taunt the woman and ridiculed her for having nappy hair. I know she didn't. Years later, during a May 2019 Instagram live session with her then-husband, Safari Samuels, Erica said, Yo, stop asking me about my kid. I don't be asking y'all about y'all little nappy-headed children. You better, you better hush up and stop answering people. Now, some may wonder why it's offensive for a Latina to describe hair as nappy. Yeah. Well, it goes as far back as the 17th century, when the word nappy was used by white slave owners to describe black slaves' hair texture. According to a professor of humanities at Syracuse University, hair texture was one of the many rationalizations of the perceived subhuman status of Africans. The focus on hair began as Europeans tried to rationalize their dominance and superiority, and those negative associations have endured for centuries. The word is deemed a slur when it's used by someone who doesn't share the same experience and can't possibly understand the weight of the word and how it can be used as a trigger for black people. Because of the context in which Erica has used the word, people let her have it on Twitter. Instead of apologizing, she has continued to double down with her ignorant remarks. Mm, mm, mm. Some people never learn. During a May 2021 episode of her talk show, Wendy Williams discussed Erica and Safari's relationship, including the news that Erica was pregnant with their second baby, despite the couple experiencing marital issues. You all need to stop fighting and threatening divorce so much. And, 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 and you all need to grow up and grow into being parents. And if you're not gonna wanna be married, then just get a divorce and co-parent. And babies don't save marriages, but um, good luck with at least your first six months. Yeah, good luck. When Erica found out she was a topic of discussion, she took to her Twitter and wrote a message directed at Wendy. At this point, let's link up so I can beat your ass. Your ex-husband didn't do a good enough job. Oh, hell no. Nah. I put my money on Wendy. So not only was Erica threatening to beat the brakes off of someone while she was pregnant, but she also made light of domestic altercations. To make matters even worse, Erica also claims to be a victim of domestic violence, so people couldn't understand why she would go so low. What the hell is wrong with her? Now, some may say Wendy deserved it because of all the malicious rumors she has spread about celebrities during her career. However, when it came to choosing sides between Wendy and Erica, many people decided to ride with Wendy, who was considered the lesser of two evils. <laughs> In May 2014, Erica took to her Twitter to call her co-star Johnny Blaze a monkey. After being called out, she deleted the tweets. But I did. Just five months later, in October 2014, she referred to comedian Lil Duval as a little monkey. And then in November 2014, after Tony Rock called her a full-blown whore, <laughs> Erica took to her Twitter to write, This is the most press and attention Rock got its whole career. Now that's a funny joke. Hashtag this monkey is a fool. This bitch. <laughs> I nosy cell searched through Erica's Twitter timeline and found several instances of her calling people monkeys. And according to her tweets, one of her favorite sayings is monkey see, monkey do. Somebody come look at this. Now, is it possible that Erica means no harm by her repeated use of the word? Absolutely not. Hell no. 
The animalization of black people has its roots in American slavery. The late actor Robert Guillaume said in a documentary called Story of a People, to justify slavery, black Americans had to be dehumanized. A moral and legal framework to support slavery was constructed at the same time. If it is believed that a man is inferior, subhuman, it becomes easy to treat him as a pet, a toy, an object of comic relief, a crazed lower animal who must be controlled and ruled. In other words, the term has consistently been used for centuries to denigrate black people as being less worthy of dignity than their white counterparts. Even at the time of this video, you probably don't have to look too far to find a black person who has had this insult used against them. Girl, I can name three. There is never a good reason to use the word to describe a black person in any context, and most adults, including Erica, are surely aware of that. However, she has continued to use the word as a way to insult black people over and over and over again. She know better. In January 2015, a writer for Celeb Gossip website stated Erica was booked to attend a club in Cleveland. Erica was also given money to purchase airline tickets for herself and her manager. The promoter also arranged for Erica to get paid to appear at a restaurant and have dinner and to also appear on a radio station. According to the promoter, Erica showed up late, and after spending an excessive amount of time getting her hair and makeup done, Erica allegedly showed up to the venue around 1 a.m. and said she wasn't going inside until she was paid some extra cash. Oh, she trifling. The promoter stated that someone went out to give Erica the money, and once the cash was in her hand, the driver of the vehicle put their foot on the gas and sped off. Girl. When the promoter went to the hotel to track Erica down, the hotel staff informed the promoter that they overheard Erica saying, I don't like working with these black monkeys. I don't usually do business with these black monkeys. Girl, hold my earrings. <laughs> And that brings us to 2023. During a verbal altercation with her love and hip hop castmate Spice, the women went back and forth. While arguing, Spice mentioned that Erica's eldest son from a previous relationship doesn't like her. Spice went low and Erica went to hell by calling Spice a blue monkey. Ooh, queen shouldn't swing if you know what I mean, but I'm about to take my earrings off, bring me some Vaseline. Chill and I mean it. <laughs> Many viewers were offended that she once again used a term rooted in racism. One online user wrote, Erica Mena and Evelyn Lozada are the same. Latinas who kick it with black women, sleep with black men, and have biracial children with prejudicial views about black people, especially black women. Period, poo. Others said Spice deserved it for bringing Erica's child into the conversation. But perhaps if Erica didn't have a history of using the word monkey in a derogatory manner against black people, more viewers wouldn't have let the incident slide. Her co-star Lil Scrappy initially defended her, but later retracted his statements after watching the episode. Cause I was gonna say. With the online debate about her comments raging on, many viewers called for love and hip hop producers to fire Erica. Pink slip, bitch. With the heat turned all the way up, they finally released a statement that read Erica would not appear in the next season. There were a couple of things wrong with how the show handled the situation, though. For one, the production team saw the scene play out live, and the editors reviewed the footage and still allowed it to be broadcast despite knowing the implications of doing so. They could have added a disclaimer to the episode to let viewers know that they were aware of her comments and were moving forward with removing her from the program, but they didn't. Sure didn't. Instead, they didn't immediately fire Erica until the backlash was too much to ignore. In addition to that, the producers never stated that Erica was fired from ever appearing on any of the other Love & Hip Hop franchises. She was only removed from the next season of the Atlanta series, which means she might just pop up at another location in the future. Well, ain't that a bitch. In a September 12, 2023 statement to TMZ, Erica stated she regretted using the insensitive comment, and she apologized to anyone she hurt or offended. She added, As a woman of color, bitch where? 
and the mother of two black children, I wanted to make it clear that my use of that word was not in any way racially driven. <laughs> that said, I do understand the gravity of what I said and want to use my platform to promote inclusivity and equality. Oh, okay. Did somebody say something? Girl, bye. With her time on Love & Hip Hop Atlanta over for now, Erica has other issues to deal with. In August 2023, she and her co-stars Bambi, Zell Swag, and a mutual friend were locked up following a drunken altercation. God don't like ugly. According to law enforcement, Erica got into it with the venue's security guards and allegedly bit one of the guards' forearms and kicked another guard in the face. She's currently out on a $20,000 bond and is awaiting her court date. People are now starting to wonder how Erica has gotten away with her unruly behavior for so long and how many passes is she going to get before she's canceled for good. Can you understand why people can't stand Erica? Hell yeah. Or is she just misunderstood? <laughs> Leave your comments down below. And thanks for watching RRG.